Hey! Ah! Uh, reviews! Back up in here, yo. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Netflix review this time. Netflix. Black Mirror. Show's been around for a while. Yeah. Pretty popular. So they did a... In some circles. Yeah. Decided to do a movie. Bandersnatch. Now, this is not the first interactive movie that Netflix has done. It is the first adult oh. Yes. Netflix movie that, uh, sorry, interactive movie that Netflix has done. So, uh, Ian watched it first. Yes. yes I man. watched it, uh, after. I watched it first. It's like, you need to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. I was, I was gonna watch it anyways, but I was, all right. So, um, what I did is I actually wrote down every single choice I made last <laughs> night, um, when I watched it. Okay. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over the entire part of what I uh, selected. I'm just gonna read off some uh, options that we had, right? So um, like our background, there is um, there's sugar puffs, sugar puffs, and then there's frosties, yes. right? So I chose frosties. This is one of the first decisions you're gonna make right off the bat when you oh, start you watching this. I did I did sugar puffs. I did frosties. <laughs> okay, and then next. You're going to have a decision. This is like within two, three minutes of this scene. Uh, you're going to have an option on what music you want him to listen to. Mm-hmm. Stefan, our main character on the bus. Um, now, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything. I just wanted to give everyone out there two quick samples of the type of choices you have yeah. to make. Um, now, we both did it on PS4. Yeah. So your controller vibrates. Yes, when it gives you uh, As the options come up. Now, if you have Apple TV, it does not work for Apple TV. So you're kind of out of luck if that's the only thing you use for it to go to computer. But it won't work for Apple TV. If you actually do play it, it's going to give you a sorry like video. And then it's going to give you the trailer. Trailer. <laughs> um, so you can watch it on your phone. Yes. Uh, possibly a tablet okay. as well. Um, PC or smart TV will work. But it's just the Apple TV. I think works. it has to be like a more advanced smart TV, right? Yeah. So, it, it probably has to be one of the motion ones. Well, not the most ones. Some of the regular ones also do work. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, smart TVs. Okay. Uh, it's just, I think, something with the Apple TV, it just doesn't hmm. mesh well. So, um, overall, I'm going to give it a four. I just want to go right into right. it. I'm going to give it a four. <laughs> I liked it. Now, the thing about that is, is I saw in my one sitting of an hour and 45 minutes, I managed to get about five endings out of it including the bonus secret ending. Yes. Which I uh, apparently didn't find that out until later. I was like, what's So I this? told him that so, it was yeah. a secret ending, and then he's like, oh, I already got that. I got that. Yeah, so yeah. And he was like, of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> of course you got the Of course. <laughs> I was like, of course you got the secret ending in that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just went through blind. I didn't I didn't really go back. I just kind of went to full experience. So I just went through and was just like, yeah, he actually you can't see it. But yeah, he has like a list of what he went through. I was like, I don't know. I was going to freestyle it and just go from there. And I was already a fan of Black Mirror and the whole show itself. So I was like, oh, they had a movie? I'm in. <laughs> like, I'm in already. And it didn't disappoint me. I mean, I enjoyed it. Just the interactiveness and then some <clears throat> different choices and how it goes about. And then just the plot twist that can happen with your choices. In my, in my sitting, in my viewing, I had over 40 choices that yes. I made. Um... Now, the crazy part about this is, like, when you look at the runtime on Netflix, it says an hour and 30 minutes. So that's potentially how long it could be. I actually had it end on me in, like, 15 minutes. I was like, oh, I made a bad yeah. choice. So if you uh, make a bad choice, 15 <laughs> minutes in, you're restarting this movie. <laughs> and then again in 30 minutes for me. And I was like, gosh dang it. I am clearly not making the best choice for this character in this movie. He's getting the raw end of this one. <laughs> so... That just the simple fact that you are legitimately holding the fate of this character in, in the palm of your hands, and literally in some cases, yeah. right? Uh, it's like very compelling, uh, very well done. Uh, the plot overall, what did you think of the plot? Overall? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a good plot of this kid that's just basically a gamer, a computer program. Nineteen years old. Yeah, and he just basically create this video game that he just wants to basically give to the world and just show this uh, developer, hey, this is my game, this is what I'm gonna do. And that's pretty much the basis of the story. And then your choices just make it either go 
ridiculously crazy or like certain ways and you can have it go bland but it might not be what's I'll, most fun i'll back up for a quick second they do tell you that uh he's reading the book bandersnatch yes and that supposedly his mom liked the book but then the dad like immediately was like oh i don't even know if she read that yeah right and then so his whole idea is he's like this is something for my mom i'm gonna bring it out to the world and share it with the world yeah. right because he, he feels like it needs to be talked about yeah. or played or whatever um, and it's very interesting because through you making the selections, you kind of see how you making selections for the movie are kind of intertwined with his ideas that he wants to put into the game for people making yeah. selections so in the game that he's going to make. So it was really, really well done, I thought. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, over 40 different options. Uh, I def I want to get into the spoiler <laughs> section that is like really, really bad. So, uh, overall, four four for me. What about you? Yeah, that's a good four for me. Also, uh, I enjoyed it pretty well. I went through it. I only went through it one time just real quick. Yeah. Blind, no writing anything down. <laughs> just like, all right, let's go see how this goes. But I bet he wants to know. I will. I will probably write down, but I'll go through and I'll, re- <laughs> I'll, I'll make some changes and just see what see what happens. It's, it's go crazy with it. Right. <laughs> um. There's. Oh man. There's so many uh, different different parts in here that I really really liked. Um, I think they did a good job with the casting. Yeah. Uh, everyone was very believable. Um, the dad, the dad's kind of creepy, but I think that's what he's supposed to be. Yeah. Like he's kind of like a weird dad. Yeah. Um, looks like he could be like potentially like a, a dad be like you know abusive kind of father. But I think that's the vibe you're supposed to get from him. like you're you're not sure like if I pick this choice, does it turn into that type of movie or yeah, you happens. never know with Black Mirror, right? Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get. So and it, then even the combinations of the movie, there's like a trillion different combinations of way you can yes. pick things so it's um, like you, you never know <laughs> i definitely say there there are some like set outcomes for sure like even if you pick like a or b eventually like c will happen yeah um but how he gets the c will completely, be completely change. change yeah so that that was very like like it'll go toward the same kind of story but kind of how it gets there will vary yeah. and change and i mean you have some effect and it, you know it goes into seeing how you programs the game because he's doing a kind of choose your own adventure video game yeah which kind of mirrors what you're doing right now which is kind of right funny. you're choosing you're choosing streaming interactive uh, entertainment basically yeah. right and he's creating interactive entertainment um so it's very very interesting to see that tie-in um i've seen i've seen a couple different reviews out there that like kind of criticize it for not being too original which i don't know i'm gonna have to say that it's pretty dang original um as far as the like the plot of it technically that isn't that original yeah i will say that that part of it is not that original how it comes to be that is yes right so the whole interactive piece of it um and how, and, you and, and, and how you feel about the movie can also go based on what you've picked yep so some people want to review it because they went this certain line they got this certain ending we're like eh, this kind of but there's a bunch of different endings. Yeah. So unless you've gone through everything that you've seen, you're gonna see a different type of movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I I definitely agree with that. Like if if you only spent I don't know. Like I said, the runtime for it's an hour and a half. There are some people I saw that reviewed it very highly, and they said their runtime was over two hours. So that means they played with all the different endings just yeah. about. So you're gonna get out of this what you put into it. If you are one of those people like you know what. I'm only gonna try to watch this one time through, and then whatever ending I get, I get. Yeah, because it gives you a chance at some points. Like, hey, if you credits, or do you go yeah. go back through and, and and start from a different starting point, yep. or you know later on in the middle of the movie or something like that. So it gives you kind of choices like that. Yeah. So if you if you opt for the short ending, that's what you get. You're gonna get a very short one, and it might be unfulfilling, right? Because you didn't get to see all of what potentially could have happened. Yes. So you know, no need to write a nasty review. <laughs> um. What else? I think probably be a good time to get into spoilers. So, do we think you should watch this on Netflix? One hundred percent, yes. I'll be honest with you. Um, this would probably be a very good way to counteract people um, getting uh, streams of TV shows from Netflix yeah. um, that don't have Netflix, yeah. like. Because how would you do the interactive piece? Yeah, how would you download it and then yep. yeah, because it's interactive. Exactly. So you can't download it. And say, hey, I got this this movie <clears throat> because you you only see one version of the story through. Not saying I want every film I want watch to have yeah. this. Just saying, 
might be a good way to implement just yes. maybe a little something and, here and, and there. I think it would actually do well in other like genres in terms of movies if you go you know an action full action yeah. movie or a horror movie could you imagine Infinity War with this option? Yeah. Like, snap Ooh. or no snap. <laughs> <laughs> like, does, does Thanos he's... win? Or, I mean, same thing with a horror movie. Do you run up the stairs? Or do you go out the front door? Yeah. Or do you... Do... You know, like, so many different ways you can do in terms of movies. Do you hear that sound? Or do you not hear the <laughs> sound? <laughs> <laughs> do you yell out, what's that noise? Or is anybody here? Or you just be quiet? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying nothing. There's a bunch of situations you could definitely apply this. And I, I personally would hope that there's more levels of interactive uh, parts of films that get you know, included going forward. Uh, like I said, again, again, I'm not saying that all films yes. should turn into this. But it, if they do, I feel like it needs to be thought out like this, where it's you know, t- lots of choices yes. that you can go through and kind of branch, where you kind of feel like the movie, yeah, you might have you know, a base, you know, a couple of endings, but... If you have a branch of story that you can see actually moves and change, and you want to rewatch it, yeah, I want to see maybe you know an action, uh, a horror, things like that, comedy maybe. Oh, Memento. Memento is a good one. You see Memento, yes, right? I've seen Memento. So Memento has, uh, I think it's two alternate endings that they ship out on the DVD yeah. or Blu-ray. Um, and the fact that they actually did those on, they like, they were like, hey, by the way, this was like a known thing when they put it in the theater, like that we actually filmed alternate endings and we're gonna put it on. The home, you know, yeah. the home uh, Blu-rays and stuff. So that was kind of another draw to that, like, oh, you know, I wonder what those endings are. So uh, everyone is looking for an alternate ending. Like, if it's a good story, everyone wants to see a little bit more of yeah. it. So, shouts out to Hollywood or whoever, uh, you know, streamlined this big thing. Which is uh, also good when you're writing, where you say, okay, if you have multiple writers, hey, I like this path to get here. I like this path to get here. Yeah. I like this path to get. Well, you could do all of them. Yep. And then get to a certain point, and then that's what just makes it crazy. Like, then you have fans that love the movie, but they might like this ending, this one like this ending. And then you can have uh, yeah. side, both sides be satisfied because yes. you get to see both endings. So. so, I mean, is it the future? We don't know, but we like it so far. Yes. We like it so far. And now it's time to get spoilery. Spoiling face. Spoilers! Here it comes. Here they come, yo. So I go left or go right? Here they come, yo. Here they come. I don't, I don't know. Should I look at my watch or should I? Don't pick packs. Do I pick toy? What do I, what do I do? Rabbit. What is packs? What? Pack. Should I jump out the window? I think I should go out the window. So, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't want to actually spoil, like spoil, yeah. spoil it for you guys. But I'm just gonna run down. Really quick, what I picked, and then I'll turn it over to you for anything else that you want to share, okay? So this is what I picked. This is how I ended up getting the secret ending. Uh, From what I've heard, there's a couple other ways to get it. Um, Technically, if you're smart, there's a legit way you can figure out, apparently from watching it, to go directly to the the secret ending. Um, Or if you're just lucky, uh, (laughs) you can get to it as well. Yes. So here's what I picked, okay? I went with Frosties. Now, two, uh, except uh, that brought me to the really quick 15-minute ending. Uh, then it went back to that, and then I refused, and then I said, no, yes, Bermuda Triangle, mm-hmm. shout at Dad, follow Colin, yes, to LSD, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Colin... For the situation. Yep, jumpy scene. Uh, nail bite. Okay. Flush them. Hit desk. Pick up book. Packs. I did packs first too, which is kind of crazy. Throw tea on CPU. Then I said Netflix for that choice. Tell him more. Tell him more Weird. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fight her. You'll find out what that means. Kick him in the balls. <laughs> Give I, think, the ball. I think a lot of people are going to pick that one. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kick him in the balls. <laughs> and then uh, that sent me back to who's there. Okay. Okay. And then from who's there, I picked Glyph, Kill Dad, <laughs> Chop Up Body. That's right. I got gruesome with it. Uh, throw T on computer. That sent me back to 
uh, chop or bury again. Okay. Which is really interesting, okay? It kind of gave me a so-so ending, but then it sent me back to, to select chop chop or um, chop or bury. Yeah. So from there, what I chose to do uh, from that was uh, bury. Okay. Okay. Then I said yes. Let him go. Uh, to which I got an ending of our main character Stefan going to jail. I, I didn't get the jail one. But my jail one was different than your jail one. Okay. And then. From there, it gave me another option because apparently it was like, oh, hold on, do you want a different ending than this one? Yeah. I was like, well, yes, I do. So, <laughs> then, I, so then I picked uh, Picks Up Photo, okay. Netflix, Try to Explain, Stop the Conversation. Fuck yeah. I did that one. <laughs> That's what I picked. Up. And then I picked Leap Through the Window. Okay. Okay. That sent me to the ending of... Uh, him being an actor and the people on set actually come out and like on uh, no like jumping through the window isn't an option mike and he's like mike who, who who's mike yeah and then he's like i'm stefan and they're like oh man and then uh so that gave me another option at the bottom because it was like well if you don't want to leave off with the story here get the rabbit and i was like okay get the rabbit, rabbit yeah Go with mom. Yes, I did. Yes. Stefan dies. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, that's what that's what Indian I got. So he dies in there. Um, now I could have let it end there, yeah. but at the bottom it popped up for me again. And it was like, Pax. And I was like, Pack. Oh, uh, yeah. What'd you put it Pack. In? So then I picked Pack. Right. So it takes me back, and then it's like Pax, as another option. Right. Yeah. Because instead of saying glyphs or Netflix, I say it's Pax. Yeah. And then kills dad. At that point in time, it's really cool because they say, here's your option. What numbers do you dial? And I'm like, oh, snap. What do you mean what numbers do I dial? And they go back to the conversation that he has in Dr. Haynes' office. With the numbers? Yes. Yeah, I got that to him too. And yeah. so I, I, the numbers, yeah. 205. Four, one. The way they say it in the movie, it's 20541. So then you call Dr. Haynes' office, uh, and Stefan ends up in prison again. A uh, different way this happens, right? Now, upon letting that roll all the way through, the end credits come up, I got the secret ending. Yes. Okay? Um, now, that's how it happened for me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's other ways you could get it. Yes. But getting that version got me the secret ending. Yes. Um, and which is just basically him on the bus listening to the tape before that you made a choice of, but then it's just basically like computer old like modem sounds. It's a it's a cassette, uh, and it's actually Banner Snatch. Yes. So instead of the original one where you had two options to play, um, now two or. Uh, Thompson something? Thompson Twins? Nice, yeah. Um, he doesn't have either one of those, and he only has the one. There's no more options. You're just kind of watching this at this yeah. point. Um, and some very uh, enterprising individuals out there figured out that it was the sound effects were technically a QR code. Um, well, it's like, yeah, it's a computer, and they yeah. put it into a computer, and it basically <clears throat> printed out a, or gave him a, a picture of a QR code with the symbol. Yep. From the movie, yeah, in, it's there. in there, yeah. And then if you scan that, it gives you. It takes you to. Um, you have to use an. It's like an old PC, and you have to use an emulator for that on the on your current computer yeah. to play the game that Colin is yeah. created. No it, dive. Doesn't it go like the website for the actual company or something? Yeah, like Tucker Software. The Tucker Software it gives you the company, and you can download the actual like his yep. game and uh, Colin's game, right? Yep, yep. So pretty interesting. Um, I liked it. Uh, anything you wanted to add? I mean, for that part, I mean, there was so much. I mean, just the, even the secret ending, the fact that you could go to a website and download the game, and, f like, they actually have it. I mean, if you have, like, the emulator and all that other stuff, that's just cool that you're, it's able to be secretly in the game. I mean, in the movie, and you can play the game. I'm like, that's kind of crazy. Like, that's they, they put really a whole cool. lot of thought and a lot of different just plot twists and things in this, game, in this movie. I'm like, okay, you guys, that was smart. I give it up to you. Yes, the plot is like, yeah, but... 
all the other secret stuff and all the way different plot, you know, plot twist in the middle and things yeah. and all like that. I'm like, you're doing a great job with that. And I, I enjoy yeah. it. The, ba- the base plot is, mm, but after you get to those other options, the plot is, yeah. So many uh, Easter eggs throughout the whole thing. We could probably do a video just off of that. Um, actually, we might do a follow-up video to go over like every possible ending. <laughs> uh, like it'd be a long video, but I think you guys would like it. Yeah. So I think that might be in the cards in the future. Uh, anything else you want to add? I think that's it. Wraps okay. it up for us. So a solid four. Mm-hmm. Definitely watch it. Check yes. it out. Uh, if you don't have Netflix, good good w- reason to ask a friend. Hey, buddy, borrow your account or sign up. Exactly. They have free trials. You know what I'm saying? Watch them. Watch it and try it out. Exactly. So, uh, Netflix, if you want to sponsor us, let us know. Uh, <laughs> Bird Box show, I don't see nothing. Right? At this time, <laughs> go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Share it to everybody. Exactly. Why not? Why yes. not? And again, thank you for all the love out there. We really, really, really appreciate it. And we might have some AI review merch coming here pretty soon. Merchandise. I know everyone says merch now. It always sounds... Strange. Merch. Everyone's trying to be what are you popular. buying? What are you selling? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, Resident you Evil have, 4. Yeah, if you guys don't play Resident <laughs> Evil, that's, that's that's from. And we're not being weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So again, thanks everyone. Appreciate the love out there. Peace. Did you say peace twice? Oh, peace once. Peace once.